This is Philly Swain, Sneakerhead Ain't Dead. And today, I'm here with my bro, Chad Can Color. And uh, I guess the first question in this interview would be, why do you call yourself Chad Can Color? Uh, that's gonna go back. I got that as a nickname. I guess it'd be about middle school, and uh, they don't really think much of it. Fast forward a bunch of years. Um, Instagram, I needed a fresh name. Uh, I don't really use my last name, so I became Chad Can Color. And uh, that's what people call me now. Okay. Um... Well, how old were you when you got actually, you know, got that nickname? That's a crazy nickname to have. So, what grade was that that someone had to call you Chad Can Color? Seven, seven, eight, middle school. So, you know, yeah, seven or eighth grade, right before high. What's that guy's name? I don't remember. All right, that's crazy. <laughs> All right. If you're out there, man, you know, reach out. Let's let's see where you're at right now. <laughs> if you can color. Uh, so, how long have you been actually doing art itself? Um, art has been a part of me since I was a little kid. So, even going back to like the preschool days, I still can remember, you know, drawing and doing stuff. And then uh, it kind of stuck with me, kind of like, you know, people go through phases. Um, art stuck with me the whole entire time. Okay. So, basically, right out of high school, um, I, you know, most people go to college, do all that. I chose to do artwork, yeah. um, any means necessary, and uh, made it work for myself. And, um, you know, Nowadays, I can look back and look at all the, the crap to get to where I'm at now, and I'm uh, very happy I got to where I'm at. And um, like I said, it's a, it's a real nice thing to have a waiting list for you know your craft and what you create with, and uh, you know the positivity um, side of things of, of people really kind of accepting what I do, you know, for a living and appreciating it, and um, it kind of just drives me push harder and harder. Um, what's some of the crap you go through to get there as a as a painter, you know, like an art, artist, you know, that's some of the crap, you know, stuff you go through in the craft that, you know, people don't know about better consumers, like, if I get your shoe, I just see it, I just see the end result, I just see the baby, I never get to see the pregnancy. Right, 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 um, that's, actually, that's a very good question, <laughs> yeah. yeah, um, there's a lot of back to it, there's a lot of, uh, you know, the technical side of, of basically stripping a brand new shoe from a factory down to the basics to get the paint to uh, to work. Because most people think I can run to like the craft store and get some paint and do it up. Um, if you do that, it would crack in half and look like crap and I want to have a job. Um, so there's a whole bunch of preparation techniques that go into that. Uh, the way it's applied, like some of the colors you might just see is like a red shoe that had like seven or eight coats of red on it to get to that. Um, so there's a lot of that and then it's also just like that, uh, that constant like self-motivation, like you gotta get up and start working because if you don't, no one's paying the bills. You know, it's like, I'm not on the salary, I'm on my, my time. So, uh, you know, you gotta definitely be like kind of your own boss and be, you know, um, willing to, to wake up and be creative even if you're not feeling creative that day. But uh, nine times out of ten, um, an hour into it, it's kind of like reassuring and kind of get that vibe going for the day. Right. And, uh, you know, it's like I would be doing it for free. It's something I love if I had a normal nine to five. So because I don't, but, you know, it's like each day like is a fun day for me. That's a great so, way to put it. Yeah. Um, how, how does it, how does it affect your everyday thing? You know, because life isn't just the hustle. Sometimes we get consumed by the hustle. It isn't just the hustle though. And I know me as an artist, it's hard for me to juggle even getting something to eat when I'm in my artistic zone. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, I just go days and don't even eat nothing. And then it's like, somebody got to be like, yo, did you eat? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I obviously suffer from that same. It, it doesn't matter, musician, painter, drawer, like any sort of creative mindset. It's I think it's the same thing, you get in your zone. It doesn't matter if you haven't slept in a couple of days, it doesn't matter if you ate, you showered, any of that stuff, like, if you want to get to that finish line at all costs, <laughs> and like, it's like, it's pretty much, I think, like, pure, like, uh, adrenaline that keeps you going, like, that, that, you know, like, you'll have, like, the idea in your head, and it's like, I'm working as fast as I can to get it out through my hands, so, like, be like, here's my, here's my idea, you know what I mean? And uh, it might change a little bit, like, in between, like, from the concept to, like, what it shows up, but normally it's better. You know, but uh, yeah, it's definitely, it's um, it can definitely consume you. Right. You know? Well, that's this is the first episode. You know, the introduction, getting to know Chad can color. Uh, we got some stuff for y'all to see, man. So hopefully y'all fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking good. with it. He's fucking with it. A lot of people are fucking with it, but 
It's about, are you fucking with it? Your artistic abilities, how you feel, sneakerheads ain't dead. 